artists. My name is Julie and I'm your art teacher. Um, today I'm going to talk to you guys about making a zoo for our neighborhood. Um, today when you're making your zoo, when we are making our zoo we're each going to pick our favorite animal and draw it and cut it out and color it and um, put it on our window so that everybody else can see it. So I made a sloth and a hippo and today in the video I'm going to talk you through how to make the hippo but I really want you guys to pick whatever your whatever animal is your favorite. If you're having trouble don't be afraid to look it up. Um, I use reference photos and videos all the time in my work even though I've been drawing for a long time but that's okay if you know, you need to do that. I still do it all the time. People, even professionals do it. Um, so it's okay. Um, don't be afraid of that. And if you're having trouble, just remember that everything starts with a shape. So for my hippo, I started with an oval and a circle for the head. And then I built it up from there and added the details, which I'll show you when we switch the camera. Um, so... You're gonna need your scissors, your markers, your crayons, and your piece of paper that says zoo on it. And I want you to make sure that you draw it pretty big so that we can see it from the sidewalk. Um, so yeah, let's go get started. So for this project, we're going to be making a zoo. And for it, you will need your a pencil, markers, crayons, some of the tape, and scissors. All of this should be in your art kit. Scissors were in your maker kit. And in your bag, there should have been a piece of paper that is labeled zoo. And this is just a big sheet of paper and we are going to draw whatever our favorite animals are. So today I'm gonna draw a hippo. Um, they are one of my favorite animals. I have a lot of favorite animals, but hippos are, are up there. And I picked my favorite animal, a hippo. Now, I'm gonna get started by just clearing off my space. And hippos are really big. And if you guys remember, well, first we're gonna draw it out on the paper. And as we're drawing out the animal, I want you to think about what shapes the animal is. So hippos are pretty, they're large and they're pretty curvy. So I think I'm going to start with some ovals and circles. Um, so let's get do a circle for the big circle for the head, then a nice big circle for the body, and then they have short little stubby legs. So I'm just going to add some little legs for them. Uh, if you are having trouble, you can see if you can look up what the animal looks like. You might have a picture of it in a book. Um, or on the internet, which is, you know, we do that in class sometimes. So hippos have really weird little blocky mouths and they have, and then there's their head. So as you can see, I'm just going really slow and adding the details after I get the first little bit down. And they have little teeth and nostrils, maybe cute little eyes. And if you make a mistake, you have your pencil and, your, and, a, and an eraser. So you can just keep erasing. It's okay if you make a mistake. I make mistakes all the time. Look at this weird little hippo mouth. Doesn't even look right. So I'm going to just try again. You have little snouts. So I think maybe now I have it. So that means I'm gonna add more details and give them their little, they have little cute little ears and eyes and teeth.
Okay, so I made some changes to my hippo, and now we've switched to a time-lapse view, and you can see that I, after I finished penciling, I outlined my hippo with a black marker, cut him out, and then colored him in. Um, I also added some tape to the back, and then I decided to make the little animal that lives on top of, top of the hippo called an ox pecker, so you can see me do that real quick. And then they are, and that's about it. Bye everyone, I can't wait to see all of your animals next time I'm over there.